happy Wednesday. It's Melissa. We have fun, fun, fun stuff today to show you. Um, this is sort of an unboxing, sort of I actually already unboxed it because I had to get ready and practice and show you all the fun stuff. So we are talking all about this new product, the Quill, which is getting so much buzz right now. Um, and it works with all kinds of cutting machines. But obviously we're going to show you how to use it with Silhouette. So I put my order in on pre-order and then they contacted me and said, hey, we'll send you one. And I was like, okay. So I still have one on pre-order, but this one came early. This is the full kit. It comes with three different tips. You only see two here because I actually already have one in my machine, which we're going to talk about in a second. Okay, so whoopsie. You need a power strip. And I'm going to explain why in a moment. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Okay, my power strip is kind of short, so it's not really wanting to stay on my desk. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to lean you down so you can see what we got. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to unbox this first so you can see. All right, so if you get the full kit, what you're going to get is three of these tips, okay? They're all different sizes. There's a fine tip, fine tip, it's very hard to see, um, a standard tip, and then the um, wide tip or bold tip, whatever you want to call it, which is the one that I'm using, okay? You're also going to get four of these little um, adapters. One is for Silhouette, one's for Cricut, one's for um, Brother, Scan and Cut, and I forget what the other one's for, okay? We obviously only need Silhouette. Now, the full kit also comes with tape, which I'm going to show you what you need that for. This is essentially just washi tape. And three things of foil. Practice on this one already, okay? All right, so, and it also comes with this little doohickey, which I'm going to show you what it is for in a second. Let me get all this stuff out of the way. Now, you will notice that each tip has a cord and a USB plug on the outside. Do not plug this USB into your Silhouette machine. You are going to plug the USB into some other kind of outlet. Now, it needs to be within two feet of your machine, which is why I have a, um, can you see this? Which is why I have my power strip. This is obviously just my block, my plug thing from my phone. All right? Now, the reason that you need to do that, it works on all Okay, so what's happening is I have my, I have the silhouette adapter. It just screws on to the tip. Now, if you buy the full kit, like I said, you get all three tips. You can buy the, the sizes, the quills, the three different sizes individually as well. They always come with all four of the adapters, so you don't have to worry about that. Then you put it into your silhouette machine, just like a regular blade. And you use this little thing to slide under while it's heating up, okay? And then you see how it has a little blue light there? If you can't see because of the comments, you can um, just move the comments. And now it's warming up. It has this blue light il illuminated. That means it's warming up. It needs to warm up for five minutes. It's plugged into here. It needs power. Do not, as I said, do not plug this USB into the USB port on the side of your machine. Don't do that, okay? All right, now, get a bigger dish also. All right, can you move them over here so they can see this? Okay. Yeah, that's very nice angle of me, too. Okay, fine, that's fine. Okay, so we are going to make this, um, we are gonna make a card. This is just card stock. We're gonna put foil on our card, okay? So, my design is set up in Silhouette Studio where I have the card shape, and then I have the foil, the shape that I want to foil, okay? And I'm going to do this in two passes, but first I'm going to foil. Now, keep in mind, where's my other one? Keep in mind, this is only the third foil I have done. I want you guys to see start to finish, okay? Even when you're brand new with this. Obviously, I had to practice a little bit, so I didn't get on here and be totally fumbling around. Okay. Now, the foil, if you get the kit, like I said, comes with three different colors. However, 
Just like you can pre-order the kit, and I threw the link up there, you can get all different kinds of foil. This is heat reactive foil. It is not adhesive, okay? All right, so I'm gonna lay the foil over top my paper. I'm gonna cut the foil. It's very hard to cut because my scissors are not sharp. Okay. Now. I'm okay. So now, what you're going to do, lay your foil flat, take your tape. Again, if you don't get the kit and you just buy the individual, um, and you just buy the individual tips, you don't get the tape, but this is washi tape, and we all have washi tape, right? Okay. Now, like I said, this is on pre-order now. It will be shipping, hopefully, according to my sources, um, in late February. But you can pre-order it right now. I threw the link up there at Swing. The full kit that I showed you is like $79, I think. You get all the three size tips and all the adapters. Obviously the adapters come with all of them. Or you can buy individual size tips and they're like 32, I think. Okay, so we are ready. Now, I'm gonna put this into my machine. And I'm going to, everything's prepared in Silhouette Studio, okay? I'm just making sure my sizing is okay. Because for some reason I decided not to size this ahead of time. All right, now we're going to load this in. You're going to make sure that this cord is out of your way. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, here we go. Now, the best cut settings I can recommend right now, you want to use the sketch action. So pretend this is a sketch pen. Where's my, wait, where'd that little silver thing go? Did it move? Bob, where'd that little silver thing go? that I have in here. Hold on. Here it is. Okay. I got it together. Alright, so we're going to load this one. Take that thing out. Okay. Sorry, like I said, sketch, speed 7, force 21. And we're going to send this to go. Now it's going to, this tip is going to act like a pen or a blade and sketch as it goes. Let me see if I can get you any closer. Oh, those of you who are asking about the mat, I'm testing that out too. This is a this is the new um, Miss Kate Cuttable mat. I'm testing that too, and we'll get to that later. Like on another Facebook Live. Okay. Now, this design that I'm sketching is also um, free. It's part of a 10 pack of free designs that I offered, and I threw the link up there for them too. Okay, now it has sketched. Can you see this? It has sketched on there. Okay, so now I'm ready to cut. I'm going to remove, I can remove this actually and unplug it, which is great so I can get rid of that. Careful because it's a little hot. It's not, I, it didn't burn me when I touched it. I, okay, so now you're going to remove this. If Keep your everything else, your mat and your paper and everything else in the, in the um, machine so that you can cut, okay? Alright, so here, look at that so far. It's hard to see. I'll show you a close-up as soon as I'm done. Now, I'm going to cut my, um, my actual card, okay? This is a no cut. This is a cut. All right, here we go. It's cutting with the, my blue tip on cardstock. Okay? Here we go. It's, this is my perforated line down the middle. I know I have lots of questions. However, um, I have, it's hard for me to, I, I can only multitask to a certain degree. So we'll get to the questions after. But I want you guys to see. Now, like I said, this one that I just used was the bold tip, okay? And I think I showed you how this does. 
This is the foil quilt. It's brand new. It's on pre-order right now. I threw the link up there for that for you. Okay. It's an alternative to cutting foil and applying with um, HGB. It's an alternative to using sketch pens. All right. Now let's see if this is ready or if I need to run it through again. Yeah, I need to run that through again. Four. Let me just run up the speed a bit. Okay. Sorry. That was my fault. I just need to cut it one more time so I'm not tearing it. Don't worry. I made the speed super high. Okay. So while that's doing it, common questions. When is this going to be available? It's on pre-order now. It's going to be available. Start shipping from retailers. Swing is the one, obviously, I would recommend. This is the link that I threw up there. Um, they have all of, all of the individual tips for sale um, and also the full pack that I showed you earlier that comes with all of it. Like probably 20 different color foils um, and a couple of the other accessories if you wanted to buy them separately. I'm also giving you a whole set of 10 free designs. All right, here we go. Okay, so now let me show you this up close. Unload. Okay. It's in my paper. Okay, and now I made this little card, okay? Now, I strategically placed the foil design so that it would go onto the back and off of the edge. Okay, but I want you to see that. Okay, so that is the foil quilt. Now, like I said, this is the bold one. I got a little bit, you can see, I got a little bit of skipping. However, this is my third um, quilling. Quill. Quill. What is the word for that? What is the verb? We don't know yet. Foil. This is my third foil. Anyway, I think that we need to fine tune the settings a bit. I think that one of the reasons that there's a little bit of skipping is the material is not quite thick enough. Okay, I think I need a, a little bit thicker material. Now, when I emailed them and I said, what are your recommended cut settings? This is what they told me. And guess what else they said? They said you can do this on vinyl. You can foil on vinyl. So I gotta, I'm gonna have to check that out. But right now I'm just experimenting with paper, okay? All right, I love hex, isn't this cute? Okay, now also another question, can you fill in with this? It's the same exact thing as sketch pen, okay? If you want it to fill, you need to put a sketch fill in there. If you want to use text, I am suggesting that you use single line sketch pen text, okay? Fun. And we have them on so fancy, you can um, search for them or whatever. But that is, otherwise you're going to get text that is outlined just like this was. Okay? All right, guys. So that's the foil quill. It's super fun. I will have some stuff on the blog, um, hopefully in the next week. I'm a little aggressive, but I'm hoping that I can get it up there in the next week or so. Okay? All right, guys. I hope you liked it. I think it's a fun, fun, fun new tool. And um, I think we've got lots of things we can experiment with. I think you can probably do this on other things besides paper, like maybe leather earrings. I think there's lots of things that we'll be able to discover with this, and it'll just be really fun. All right? All right, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.